What is up YouTube? It's me Celtic. Today I am back with Fenrir in Building Made Easy and today I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to be giving you guys three builds all in one video so I'm going to shut up, get onto things and see where we can take this. First up we're going to talk about the Fenrir Assassin build. I typically build this in two situations. A, the enemy has no idea what a Fenrir is and I can clearly do whatever I want. Or B, I'm in the jungle and I just want to go in, die, but hopefully take someone with me. So the Fenrir Assassin build it consists of four power items and two defensive items that really help the abilities come back online. Now, what are we doing? We are going to be building our Assassin's Blessing and the Tier 1 of Crusher, but as for the build itself, we are going to be building our Power Boots into Crusher, into Heart Seeker, into Brawler's Beat Stick, which finishes off the power. And then for the defensive finisher items, we're going to build Void Shield and Genji's Guard. This Assassin build works really well if you're maxing out Brutalize before your jump. I know the jump has more initial burst, but as an Assassin, if you just have someone like Vulcan that can't get away and you just full on brutalize them, they die. And they die a lot. And then you can get ahead, and Fenrir from ahead is a lot of fun. But anyways, I typically don't build this Assassin's build, but it is a lot of fun if you know that you can A, get your brutalize off no problem, or B, the enemy team clearly has no idea what they're doing, because Fenrir is one of those gods that everyone seems to know how to counter by now. But we can counter a counter per se by building Fenrir tanky, so here is my first Fenrir tanky build. So your first Fenrir tanky build is going to start you with your Warrior's Blessing and then the tier one of Breastplate of Valor, with you finishing off in this order. Your Power Boots, Breastplate of Valor, Hide of the Urchin, Spirit's Robe, Mid Guardian Mail, and then finally Titan's Bane or some little power option. Nasamune is also not a bad option to finish off this build. This is my favorite Fenrir build that I've tried a lot, and we're gonna get to that little caveat at the end, tried a lot in a second. But before I can go and tell you about the theory crafting that I've come up with for the end of this video, make sure if you're going tanky Fenrir, you pick up thorns. Because what's a lot of fun is to pop thorns and brutalize a carry, then there's just nothing they can do. Because too often Fenrirs will brutalize and then a hunter can just sustain themselves with, say, Aussie lifesteal. If you pop thorns and dive a carry, there's nothing they're going to be able to do to stop you, and then you win. Now, the last build that I'm going to share with you today is something I've seen that's shown up in the Smite Pro League, specifically for Camazots. But if Camazots can do it, goddammit, Fenrir probably could too. So that's where this build is coming from. I'm a little skeptical of it. I haven't tried it too much. When I have tried it, it's worked okay. But I'm gonna put it in this video because I'm making a Fenrir build now. So here is the third and final build for today. Anyways, there's a lot of variation on this build, but basically you go and you start with your warriors and then you're gonna be rushing into boots. Then after boots, you're gonna go and build transcendence. Then after transcendence, you're gonna go full tank. And the tank items they're building are actually really interesting to me. So they're building stuff like runic shield, hide of the urchin, midgardian mail, pestilence, all to fit the proper situation, of course. But a couple items I'm gonna highlight is runic shield for one, because it actually, it's really good for diving mages because it reduces magical power around you by say 50, I think it is. Another good one, like I touched on earlier, is Void Shield because it actually redu reduces opponent's physical protection, so this allows you to do a lot of damage. And since you're gonna be building Transcendence, it's not necessarily a bad look because Transcendence gives a lot of power. Anyways, that's the three builds. That's all the time that I have. And let me know how you guys find these builds. Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know who you want me to do next. But anyways, that's all the time that I have. This is Celtic. Have yourselves a casual day.